Well, welcome to my latest video and welcome to the first video on a new playlist um, as announced, Accomplishments, Fight Runs or Feats. And when I sat down and thought, the first two videos to do in this playlist, I chose them very quickly. One I chose very quickly, um, which will come later. And I thought for the first video of my Accomplishments, Fight Runs or Feats series um, on my channel for 2022, there's no better place to start than 1919, okay, the legendary Harry Greb who goes 45-0 and 0 in one incredible year. Now, we're going to take a look at that year and explain why it is such a feat. But I'm sure you'll agree already, okay, that when you look at this, it is really quite insane, okay? So, basically, in 1919, Harry Greb in January went 5-0, and 0, averaging just more than a fight a week. Okay, now, in that month, he also gained wins over fighters, including Leo Floridian Hook and Soldier Bartfield. When we go to February, Harry Greb goes 4 0, a fight a week. Okay, so he's, he's matched a fight a week for the first eight weeks of the year, eight and a half weeks a year. Uh, in that 4 0, uh, 4 win, no loss, no draw in February, he also beats names including Bill Brennan, the heavy punching heavyweight contender, and Battling Levinsky, the former, well, you know, up until 1920, the current light heavyweight champion of the world. Now, in March, Harry Greb goes five win, no loss, no draw, and beats names including Hall of Famer Leo Hook, heavyweight contender Bill Brennan, and Hall of Famer and outstanding fighter Billy Misk. In April, Harry Greb goes five win, no loss, no draw, um, again, beating fighters he's beaten, Leo Florian Hook, Hall of Famer, and battling Levinsky, um, the light heavyweight champion of the world. In May, Harry Greb goes four win, no loss, no draw, beating capable contender Clay Turner and also beating awkward heavyweight former bantamweight Willie Meehan. Yes, we all remember the praise Willie Meehan gets for going from bantamweight to heavyweight. <clears throat> Yes, he gets that much. Meanwhile, in June, Harry Greb goes four win, no loss, no draw, okay, and he gains a revenge win, okay, um, over the St. Paul Phantom, the Hall of Fame middleweight Mike Gibbons. In July, Harry Greb goes four win, no loss, no draw, beating Bill Brennan, Bartlin Levinsky, and Joe Chip. In August, he goes two win, no loss, no draw, okay, including another win over heavyweight contender Bill Brennan. While in September, okay, Harry Greb goes three win, no loss, no draw, um, including wins over a Jerome Jeffords, aka Jeff Smith, and battling Levinsky. Now, in October, he only goes one win, no loss, no draw, okay, now I've already had a broken hand in that month, so it took a few weeks off. Back in November, Harry Greb is back to a fight a week, okay, going four win, no loss, no draw, and then he closes out in December, okay, with another four win no loss no draw to make up to 45 and 0 in one year now in those four wins in December two of them were against the capable Clay Turner and one was against former light heavyweight champion uh, Mike Mateague so basically, in this month, Harry Greb, okay, had a record uh, in this year, had a record against Hall of Famers of 10 win, no loss, one draw, nearly averaging a win against a Hall of Famer per month, near enough. His record against champions in 1919 alone is 5 win, no loss, no draw. And Harry Greb, in total wins against champions and Hall of Famers, um, basically had a win of 11 win, no loss, no draw, again, nearly a win a month for a whole year. And the rounds boxed in this year, you know, it's okay having 45 and 0. I'm fighting all those top contenders, Hall of Famers, or former world champions. But he boxed over 400 rounds in one year. Now, to put that in perspective, you know, some modern Hall of Fame fighters now have not even fought that amount of rounds in their 15 or 20 year careers. Okay? Harry Greb fought over 400 rounds in one year. Okay? In that one year, he beat five individual Hall of Famers and two world champions. The world champions, of course, were Battling Levinsky and Mike Mateague. Okay, the Hall of Famers were Leo Hook, Battling Levinsky, Billy Misk, Mike Gibbons and Jeff Smith. Now, also what makes this um, year, 1919, such an incredible feat, not only for the 45-0 and 0 and the names fought and beaten, um, is the fact that Harry Greb fought a number of fights across this year, mixing fights at middleweight, light heavyweight, and even heavyweight, okay? He didn't balloon up to 190 to fight a heavyweight, then balloon back down to 160 to fight a middleweight, and then go back up, balloon up to 175 to fight a light heavyweight. He would fight many of these opponents across multiple divisions, weighing around a five up or five down poundage, okay? So basically, was fighting middleweights, light heavyweights, or heavyweights, 
okay? But he wasn't piling all the weight on. He was fighting them at a more optimum weight that he was comfortable fighting at. And an incredible thing about this 45-0 and is Harry Greb, you know, was fighting many opponents who were naturally bigger than him, either physically or size-wise or weight-wise or all of them. Both bigger than him, taller than him, and longer than him, heavier than him. And yet he fought all comers for this incredible year. Now, Harry Greb is not the only fighter to have long fight runs in a year. But I cannot picture a year um, from any fighter, really, where, where they've gone 45-0, and 0, beating that level of competition, having so many fights per month while beating Hall of Famers and Champions, and fighting fighters across multiple divisions covering from middleweight to heavyweight. Now, I've seen other fighters who've had incredible fight runs, but none fighting fights across three weights like that in just one year. Even the great Henry Armstrong, you know, in two and a half years, you know, he won three lineal titles at featherweight, um, welterweight, then lightweight, and he also made seven welterweight defences. Um, I'll cover that fee in a coming video on this playlist. But, you know, Harry Greb is a rare breed, OK, because he fought fighters across stupid weight, um, weight divisions from middleweight to heavyweight while going unbeat and fighting all those all of famous and champions. So I thought to myself, well, really, there's no better place to go. Um, than to start the playlist on this year. This year as well, you know, take Terence Crawford or any of these fighters, for example. Okay, many of those guys have not even had this amount of professional fights in their career. Okay, this is what we have to remember. You know, Muhammad Ali had 61 professional fights. He turned pro in 1960, you know, and he fought until, well, just past 1980 when he had his final fight with a few fairly long breaks in between but aside from the you know being thrown out of sport and a fight aside from a few years at the end of his career where he had gaps here or there you know Ali was top 10 rated for nearly two decades okay and he had 61 fights had he grabbed out 45 fights in one year it is quite incredible. It is quite incredible. And um, if I'm not mistaken, he actually scored the same number of Hall of Fame wins in one year as what Ali did in his career, uh, if I remember my numbers correctly. And, you know, that itself is an incredible feat. You know, that itself is an incredible feat. Uh, if I also remember correctly, he scored more wins against Hall of Famers in one year than the Brown Bomber Joe Lewis did in his entire career. I mean, yes, it is ridiculous when you look at it, but that's why, you know, this is an incredible feat and that's why this was a first perfect video. I've got another video ready um, for this playlist and there'll be more videos to come over the year as I go through some of the fighters' incredible accomplishments, feats or fight runs. But I have to say, there's no better place to start than this miraculous 1919, you know, and if he had not been hurt in his hand and wrist in August and October, Imagine how many fights he may have had. He may have had another five or six fights. He may have gone over 50 and 0. We'll never know because, like I always say, he didn't do it, okay? So if I speculate on that, it is just my opinion and speculation. All we can go on is the fact that he accomplished this incredible 45 and 0 while fighting a round total that is better than many modern fighters' entire careers while are getting more Hall of Fame wins than many Hall of Famers scored in their entire multi-year careers. And he did that in just one year. So this was the perfect place to start for accomplishments, feats and fight run series. The legendary Harry Greb and his 1919 fight run of going 45-0. What an incredible achievement. I'm out.